I greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Good morning and win forever. My name is Timothy Profitable and this is Blevoy. Now, this time I want us to dissect the real faces, the hidden ones behind the BBC documentary about Prophet T.B. Joshua. Now we know very well BBC is not one person, is a network of broadcasting station, is a media house. That's what we can talk about now. And uh, media house in the UK, I mean the, the, the Europe thing, cannot, cannot just enter into Africa and give you the good news you are expecting every now and then. Now, this brings me to this episode. Let's, let's, let's unmask the people behind it. Who planned what in this? And I've gone through and sources come in very clear. I mean very clear who really was part of it. Let's leave alone the witnesses like a jockey. Let's leave, leave Bisola aside. Bisola, Bisola has been heckling all around. Uh, so we know her. Let's leave alone Solomon Ashams around and the other group that belongs to him. Let's leave it alone. Let's leave J. Israel around. No. Now, we are talking about the people that were in, in-house, housed by Mama Evelyn and T.B. Joshua in Squan. In fact, paid salary and trusted with very sensitive departments in the ministry. And now them came out to take a big platform to now fight the same thing that fed them. The same finger that fed them. Now they are fighting it. Okay, that's not why I'm doing this. I'm just doing this episode for you to see who are behind everything that is going on. Now, before I do that, I want to talk about a subscriber who sent me an email way back and I kept the email. I did not talk about it. That's like two years ago when we were talking about the same, same people I want to mention here. And uh, she said she was a she. She said she saw a very big press conference. And I know if you are hearing this, you will comment down there. And then talked about it and spoke in details what will happen. So this BBC quagmire, to me, did not come as a surprise. Because we, even though we prayed against it, we knew something would happen with the media. The only thing we knew very well, that the impact will not be huge as it was expected. As much as it is. So that was one confession. Number two, I want you to understand of um, this is a prophetic ministry. Whether people say they are fake prophets or genuine, there are no genuine prophets, I don't want to care about that anymore. What I really want to tell you, whether they are fake or genuine, then there is around genuine ones also. Whether prophets are human. They are all human beings and they can talk about things. They can do things. Even the ones in the Bible, they read a moment that they could do things humanly. Let's leave it there. Now, who are these people? I will start way back, way before. There was one magazine called T.B. Joshua Watch. It was a publication that was put on. All of you who are there, you knew who came up with the T.B. Joshua watch. It was Dave and Angie, the son and the, son, the daughter-in-law of the Tongis. I mean, we are dwelling there because people are saying, oh, BBC, BBC this, BBC this, that. But they don't know who came up with the plan. Okay, before I mention the second person, 
There was one time when we were discussing a previous episode. I will pin the comments down there. I will pin it in the pin comments, the link. We talked about the plan of the Tongues owning Squan. And we spoke about it. So this is what we said. And all of you are here. I will pin the video episode that we did this part. Uh, we talked about it and we discussed it in details. What happened with those people? They sat down. I don't know what they had seen before. And wanted to totally and wholly conquer the squan leadership. Now plan A is... Racine seems to be so strong. I'm talking about Racine in the next episode. Racine seems to be so strong now in Squan. That is in quotes. And then, what do we do? Prophet Joshua, T.B. Joshua, is like trying to uh, create a footage for a transition. That's, what, that's how they were thinking. So, if he's trying to create a footage let's make a ground for us that's the discussion and then Chris the Chris you see very good very gentle very sweet that Chris prophet Chris who said now his brother Chris he was heading the media department Chris himself came into the drawing board. In fact, the sketch of the actions were done by Chris. <laughs> okay, I know somebody say, oh, no, 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 no. It is brother Chris that did the sketch of what they will be doing. And Tonga was now the advisor. Let's do this. And then he always walked behind scene. Tonga the mother, Tonga the father. Now, don't forget the previous magazine had already done. Dave and Angie was in South Africa doing the same South African thing, publish a watchdog, something like a news, newsletter, circulate and say, T Prophet T.B. Joshua is this, is that, is this, is this. And don't forget the mother, the brother, the sister, sub, still in Squan, serving them. Now, this is where they came up with an idea of the book, The Servant of God. So they wrote the book and wanted to publish it so far. Now that they claim the authorship of the book, The Servant, by Prophet T.B. Joshua. So they wanted to do the launch of the book while Prophet T.B. Joshua was still alive. It was a statement that it is us we want to take over. And they did it. After doing that, they were very conscious of everything they wanted to do. Plan was already laid down. We want to pick Chris, give our daughter. Uh, sorry, uh, we want to pick Prophet Rasim, give him our daughter. And then we, we can control him now the way we want. When we say go left, we go left. Go right, we go right. And then they also had just in case our plan fail, we will take Prophet Rasin, put him in a place, manipulate him, and duplicate Squan for our own. Then try to fight Mama Evelyn, who will be taking leadership. It was a choreographed plan, very, very efficiently planned over a long period of time. Now, those plans, as we were talking before, they didn't materialize. They failed. Number one, they seemed to go confused. You can see now, Prophet Rasin now, as we are talking, seem to have gone with a wrong association. Even now, as we are talking, watch. Everything they are doing is like it was a, 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 a half-planned thing. And that's how it took a different turn. Now, another thing that you need to know is that all these plans they had, they had a time frame of execution. Time frame of execution. When do we want this to work? How we want this to work? So how do we do it? Number one, Yinka and Am, place them aside. Now we will. Now 
have everything in control. If you remember the die, the die, the die, uh, the die man who died. The die man. Then they are, they were also part of the planning. They would say, "Oh, we want to fix Yinka and Anne into that matter." So they will have some scandal measured. It was no, it was not Mama's point of involvement anywhere. Was not involved. And so they wanted to use the staff within to start controlling Squan finances. And then those staffs, now when Mama and uh, the team that uh, God had placed in, in, in turn to take over uh, some few activities when they started, don't forget, it was still morning period. They were still morning. That year has passed away, so what do we do? They were still in pain, adjusting to the realities of that happening and eventuality. But these people are very busy doing the things. I had a picture also I wanted to show you here. During the work, if you want to know, these people were right together. In this plan, in this project, in this scheme, even during the body viewing, of senior prophet T.B. Joshua, right there, prophet Rasin and Ruth already were getting married and the prophet did not know. He may have known, but they did not want it to be like he already knows it because a prophet will just be seeing some things and if he does not speak, most likely he knows, but he does not speak. He just keeps quiet on it. The picture resurfaced. It's a public picture, so it's nothing like, oh, this, this, this fabrication. And then, that is before Barrio. So, Racine is also part of the plan. Ruth, part of the plan. Don't tell you, oh, don't see. These plans, if, what is planning these deadly actions and speaking what I'm speaking now? Who is more wrong? Now, let's leave it alone. Now, Chris, being the head of media then, started doing a uh, 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 recompilation of uh, the, uh, the, the media resources, uh, so far, contents, and uh, etc., etc. And then after all uh, happened here and there, then boom, he keeps quiet like an innocent man, never known anything, see no evil, hear no evil. <laughs> <laughs> joking with the heart of a man. The Bible speaks of the heart of a man is so deceitful that only God and that person knows what goes on in it. And uh, knowing that things will not, not really be normal, Chris now sets up and duplicates the real synagogue station, Emmanuel TV studio, that the last time Prophet TB Joshua comes in and then he dubs the very last moments of Prophet T.B. Joshua's actions. He takes a studio. Does exactly like the same. So that people would look at it and see this is a continuation of the last thing Prophet T.B. Joshua was doing. That Chris is also the son of Tongi. Well, they may be divided or find this and this. We are yet to know that also. I, I, I saw one claim, uh, uh, Chris comes out and say he is condemning BBC, but he may just be condemning because on the ground what this uh, man of God did way before he left, sometimes, uh, well, uh, is like a shrewd manager, shrewd disciple, kind of. You can't catch him in a mistake. Whether he's involved in it, you cannot catch him in that mistake. Because there are some things that he was the handle of the Tongues when they were planning in Squam. I'm talking about this so that some people would really know we, were, we, are, we don't do guesswork in this. This kind of statements, we don't do guesswork. So, as we moved on, the watchdog, I talked about the watchdog. The watchdog that was behind T.B. Joshua's uh, photos, 
coming in, oh, this happened, this happened, was also part of it when this couple, Dave and Angie, were indicted of being the masterminds behind the TB Joshua Watch. The blog admins refuted it and denied any sort of connections with that channel. What does that mean? Anything they do, they will not agree. They will camouflage. They will try to resurface. So it is a hide-and-seek game for them. Even now, they will not own it. They will not own it. So Clo is also part of it. You know Clo, right? Clo is also family of the Dev Tonge. And we also have Angie. <laughs> you know that. And Tonge family. All of them are there. Working towards a common sea. So they see us. Uh, we, they will see us. They will know us, who we are. They will do what we, we don't understand. So what do we do now? Good. We bring in people who can talk and say, Ajoke was one of them. Unfortunately, those other people, no one knows them. Like Ajoke, who, where did he, she come from? Is she a daughter of T.B. Joshua? How can someone come over? We know, we know, and I said this before. When Mama came to Nairobi for crusade, I met Mama personally. Okay, because, you know, Mama Evelyn is a mother to so many. I'm not talking about myself. It's a mother to so many people. And I saw the motherhood in her, the care in her. Other sides, let's leave it for God to deal with issues within Squan herself used by God to fix problems there. That's a must. God has to give somebody a strength that can deal with some things that need like this one. You don't need smiling. This one is you descend on someone. <laughs> you descend on someone to feel straight. Now, I met Mama there. I met Promise Joshua. And the husband, I can tell you the truth. I will tell you. No one doesn't know the family of Prophet T.B. Joshua. Now, someone comes up from nowhere and expects all the other people. So some people knows when this kind of a, a lie goes round, then all of a sudden, before people know this is what is happening, no one will ask questions. They will just believe it is. So it's part of the plan of the, uh, uh, the plan all these people had in the beginning. They had it. They're behind. So we know these people who planned the BBC thing. The faces were hidden. Now they are open. So people who know the whole movement, you will know. These are the insiders who wanted to take over Squan and the plan failed. So they are coming in the second phase. So this second phase, the aim was tarnish Squan, then raise up Chris. That was the plan. Tarnish Squan, kill Squan, raise Chris and Racine once again. That's how it was to plan. Raise Chris to take the national platform, international platform and Raise again Racine and, the, and, and, and Ruth to take over the platform. Because once people see Prophet T.B. Joshua as a nonsense, to them, they now see, okay, if these are nonsense, then these are the victims of the same oppression. Okay, let's pick the victim and start following them. That was the plan. So that they can remain on top. Well, I can't speak more than this. I'm coming back again with another episode, Timothy Profitable, and this is Blevoy. We handle spirituality, economic and social matters. Don't leave without subscribing.